Oh, is that where they all are? We went up to the lake in Vermont for a couple days and the garden's absolutely booming. So we gotta get the tomato cages up, we're short by three. And then I'm gonna run the tractor supply now. I'm gonna get a cattle panel and we're gonna use that to make a trellis for the cucumbers. We're also gonna build a string trellis for the peas instead of using cattle panel. So let's go do that. Load it up. Pardon my squinty eyes and funny looking hair. My assistant over here has my hat. So we got back from our trip to Vermont for a couple days for the 4th of July and the garden has gone crazy while we're gone. You can see squash plants, Swiss chard in the back there, Everything's gone nuts. So we got a few new tomato cages. We were short three for the 21 that we had planted. Um, tomatoes went absolutely nuts while we were gone. Broccoli rob in the middle's going crazy. Cauliflower's doing all right on the end there. The squash went bonkers. Um, that's It's easily doubled in size in the four days we were gone. Our pepper plants are doing pretty well. Strawberries are still trucking. This is first year for these, so we'll see some stuff out of them next year. This is a new raised bed we made and planted just before we left. Um, we have two rows of radishes in the middle, a row of beets and a row of carrots. Um, we got them started a little bit later, but we expect a good harvest out of them because root veggies tend to grow pretty quick. Uh, okra with the hot temps has finally taken off and is doing well. We got our string beans over here. We didn't have really good germination on these, but the ones we have are growing pretty well. The Swiss chard is loving the heat. The few broccoli sprouts that we had come up, they're starting to do okay. And Brussels sprouts are looking pretty interesting. So we'll see how those turn out. But the real winners, have been the cucumbers over there, which we built a trellis for today. It's just a piece of hog, uh, cattle panel, 16 feet long, attached on either side of the raised bed with some strapping and some screws. We could probably shorten that. Uh, we didn't for this year. Next year we might cut it down a little bit, pull like a foot off on each side or two feet on one side. And Jackie, is finishing up the trellis for the peas. So if you follow us on Instagram, then you've no doubt seen these three amigos. 
We've had them now about three weeks. They are Landrace Yorkshire crosses and they're doing really well for us. We got them from a woman in Hillsborough, New Hampshire. She farrows a couple litters each year and they've just been doing great so far. Keeping pigs is pretty straightforward. We have an eight foot by four foot pig house form over there where they sleep and stay dry. We have a 55 gallon drum with a nipple on it that they drink from. And then the feeder over here is kind of a little bit jerry-rigged. It'll hold about 300 pounds of food for them. This last short trip we went up to Vermont, it was only four days, but we had a friend simply stop by every day, check on everyone to make sure they were doing all right, and then go about their business. They didn't need to lug bags of food out here for the pigs or anything like that. One of these we're raising just for our family, and the other two are going to friends and family and half shares. We'd like to raise more of them in the future, but for now we just wanted to start with three. Uh, right now they're in a 16 by 16 enclosure that I built for them. It is electrified down at the bottom, but eventually they're going to be going out into the woods that you see behind me. They're going to have approximately three acres to run around on and root for all sorts of stuff that they can find out there. So it'll be a pretty good life for them. Uh, we're very excited and it should be some of the best pork that you can get. So you guys can see Chicken Gang is doing just fine. We got all seven roosters from the last hatch that we did rehomed. Local woman picked them up. She has over 50 hens and both of her roosters that she had were attacked by a fox last year and killed. So she was looking for a group of roosters to protect her ladies. We were more than happy to oblige. We were going to eat them originally, but the breeds that they were, they were pretty scrawny. So it didn't necessarily make sense to slaughter them and go through the work. Uh, so we just gave them away and she was happy to come take them off our hands. Out of the 20 eggs that hatched this spring, we had 18 chicks that survived through the initial couple weeks. Unfortunately, after that, we had one rooster that was killed by a raccoon uh, right after we had integrated everyone into the main flock. And we decided to keep one rooster. So I know what a few of you are thinking, why did you guys keep a rooster from this last hatch if you just got rid of Henry this past winter? Well, the truth is with this hatch, we added an additional 10 hens to our flock and we had the roosters from this hatch that we were going to give away, but we wanted to keep one because he was the offspring, we're pretty sure, of Orpi. If you remember in another video, uh, I actually pointed out Orpi. She was one of our quirky hens. She was attacked by our dog Callie last year. And in the last year since she was attacked, she never really recovered fully. She didn't put all her weight back on. Um, she was the friendliest hen you'd ever see in the world. She was always the first one out to see you when you were coming out with food. But eventually, um, while we were on vacation in May, she passed away and we're pretty sure this rooster was one of the eggs from her that we hatched. If he ends up being a pain in the butt, he will go into the soup pot. That's not something we're really uh, going to debate at this point. But if he ends up being good, the fact that we have about 30 hens now, there's enough space for two roosters. And he was really small when we introduced him to the flock and Winston put him in his place pretty quick. So we're not so worried that there's gonna be pecking order issues and fighting like there was with Henry and Winston who came up together and were about the same size the whole time. We haven't named him yet. So if you think you have a name for him, uh, leave it in the comments down below and we'll go over them. And maybe if we pick your name, we'll hook you up with a cool prize. That's pretty much all we've got for you today. I know we haven't been uploading very often and we're gonna to try to get better about that. Jackie and I both work full-time jobs, but really that's no excuse. We should be able to put out a little bit more content for you guys. Until then though, if you like what you see, like this video, uh, leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell next to the subscribe button and that'll let you know when we do post videos uh, so you can stay on top of it and keep up to what we've got going on, on the farm. Thanks a bunch, have a good one.